Hey, what's going on guys? Jack Reeve, Talk Norwich City here, back for another video. Hope you guys are all doing fantastically well. Back for a preview video today. Once again, a massive thank you to Foundsbet for sponsoring these videos and all of our other sponsors. They have all been fantastic this season, as have Leeds United and Norwich City. It's first in the table versus second in the table. Colin Murray on Quest last week described it as the biggest game in the football league. And if you look solely at the table, this is going to be the biggest game in the football league this week. A sellout Ellen Road, Norwich City have sold out all of their away tickets. This has the potential to be a classic and it also has the potential to be a defining moment in both teams is season. Um, fans bet are offering 20 to 23 on Leeds. They're by far the favourites, pretty much at evens. The draw is also essentially at evens. Norwich out at 16 to 5. So the bookie's certainly favouring Leeds United in this one. Bielsa, once again, playing his mind games. He's had an interesting few weeks, hasn't he? First of all, Spygate, he announced that he's been, or members of his staff have been spying on every single team this season. That means he has, I don't know, the best statistics and up-to-date ways of seeing what his opponents are doing. In today's press conference, he also announced his team ahead of this Saturday's games. If this isn't mind games, I don't know what it is. He's done it three times this season. The previous two times, it hasn't worked. They lost both of them games 2-1. He's done the same this time. Um, go and check out the league Twitter account if you want to know the team that they will be playing, unless they go completely different on Saturday. And this is simply mind games. But it's strange for a manager to give out his team to the public um, before 2 o'clock on a Saturday or an hour before kickoff. Um, right, let's get into the team I would play then. This is a, a really, really big game. I'm going to go with Tim Krul in goal. Uh, he's been really, really good actually. I think the last um, few months he had a shaky start. I think he's starting to perform really nicely. In at left back, Jamal Lewis. Really pleased to see we've signed um, Phil Heiss for... <laughs> From um, from Germany today, um, I saw a fantastic tweet. Phil Heiss <laughs> um, sounds like the most popular Irish bingo caller's name. Phil Heiss, very nice indeed. Uh, the centre back partnership changes for me. I'm going to go with Christoph Zimmerman next to Grant Hanley. I'm bringing Grant back in the side for me. He's just got that presence that we lacked slightly. Um, in, in that last game against Sheffield United. However, Ben Godfrey, who is being dropped under my um, kind of watch in this team, hasn't had a bad few weeks at all. He's been really impressive since he's come into the team. So it would be harsh, especially having seen Grant Hanley's last outing in the Norwich City shirt that was against Portsmouth in the Cup. He, of course, got sent off after like 13 minutes in that game. And the previous start in the league came in September when he played Ipswich. So Grant Hanley needs game time, but for me, he's one of our best players and he needs to get back in that team somehow. And it just feels like with Tim Close currently out injured, he might not be. I am recording this before the press conference, but the last I knew he was injured, it would be a good chance for Hanley. In at right back, Max Ahrens. It's also worth noting that I am filming this before the uh, deadline date shuts or the transfer window shuts. Um, so a few of these players might be going out I don't think so, though. For me, the central midfield partnership, I'm going to keep Tribal in there. I thought he was excellent against Sheffield United. Next to him, though, Vrancic drops out. Tete comes in. For me, and I know this debate will rumble on until um, Tete either decides to leave or, 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 you know, something like that. For me, in a game like this, Tete is a, is a key component in the team. We're going up to Leeds. It's not going to be easy. We're going to be on the back foot for, for a lot of the game. They're going to be bringing the game to us. And Tete has that experience. He can, he can break up play. I know that Vrancic is slightly better going forwards. But with this front four that I'm about to name, I don't think you need much help from that middle pack. If Leitner's fit, however, he would go straight in the team above Tete. I think Leitner... Um, is just the all-round midfielder, a top, top player, and we've missed him in recent weeks. 
Out on the left, for me, it is Onel Hernandez, who's been really, really good. I think it's six goals and nine assists for him this season. He's been excellent. In the middle, Emi Buendia. On the right-hand side, um, sorry, I've got this wrong. Buendia out on the right. Stieperman in the middle, who's been a revelation this season. And up front, that man, Timu Pukki, 17 league goals for him this season. An exceptional record. That's the team I'm going for. For me, the weak spot in this team is this midfield. I think we need Leitner back ASAP. The stats show we are so much better when Moritz Leitner is playing. But that's not a bad midfield partnership at all. All. You've got Vrancic who can come in. Kenny McLean will probably feel harshly left out at the moment. You've got Ben Godfrey who can come in the centre-back positions. We've got options at the moment and that's hugely, hugely pleasing. Let me know your thoughts on Grant Hanley. Would you put him in or is that harsh on Ben Godfrey? Let me know on the midfield. I think this kind of pack of four up front or in the attacking positions, is fairly certain at the moment. Hernandez has been excellent. Buendia has been excellent. steepman has been excellent. excellent. Um, and Pukki, his goal-scoring tally, tells its own story. But when you've got the likes of Jordan Rhodes who can come off the bench, that's a strong side. So, Leeds United at the weekend. I'm going to be there. I'm going up for the weekend. It's going to be fantastic. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly looking forward to it. Leeds have lost four in their last six. They're there for the beating, you know. The chant Leeds are falling apart again has only come about because Leeds often fall apart in the mid-season. They were flying last season, they fell off. Will it happen again this season? I think they're stronger. They've got a wonderful side. When you've got the likes of Hernandez, um, Kemar Roof, other players like that in there, you're going to do well. And under the leadership of Marcelo Bielsa, they've got a very strong side. But but we know on our day we can beat anyone. So it's up to us to go there, put a performance in, remain in the top two. I'd definitely take a point, but a win would be lovely. It's just avoiding defeat going into next Sunday's East Anglian derby. Avoid defeat, and that is a huge, huge achievement. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.